help you? Oh, hi, are you the, are you Lynn Brown? Yeah. I was sent by the barista at Blackbird. She told me about your plants, and I'm, I'm thinking about getting myself some, uh, you so. You could've used email, we got email now. Oh, I didn't mind the drive. Not much else going on, so. You're pretty hidden back here, huh? Yeah, well, that'd be the point, wouldn't it? Here, go ahead, try it. You sure? Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's all right. So, um, I'm interested in purchasing... Are you thirsty? Sorry? Are you, are you want something to drink? Like a... Uh, come on. Bring the tomato. Here you go. I never let myself have a real pop. Why not? The sugar. What about the sugar? Apparently it's bad for you. I saw this documentary. Everything in moderation. It kept people healthy for years. Simple pleasures. So, uh... I don't really know how this works, but I'd love to purchase some or discuss purchasing some of your startup plant things. Get in line. I got a five year or so waiting list. Five years? Last time I checked. Wow, you must be really proud. That's what I do. <sighs> how many different kinds do you grow here? How much time you got? It's pretty much the only thing I have right now. Yeah, here's the issue. Okay, the brandy wines, that's what I move the most of. But they're late season bloomers, you gotta be really patient with them. The Cherokee Purple, now that's got a lot more flavor for sure. So I, I tried to recommend that to people. The Sun Sugars, those are my version of Sun. Can I see some of them? Well, they're just babies. Love babies, human or otherwise. <sighs> All right, come on. The next couple rows over, those are the real deal, the black Russians. What'll they be like when they grow up? Oh, it's a beautiful, dark beef steak, but it's a thin skinned beef steak, so you gotta watch out for sunburn. You gotta plant it in the shade and, and keep a good eye on it. But it comes in early, even before the early girls. So you got the first beef steak out there, which means you can corner the market. So wait, is this a yes? I mean, I don't mean to pressure you, but I could kind of You don't feel speak like... in full sentences, do you? What? Full sentences. You don't use them much, do you? No. I guess I do not always speak in full sentences. Mm. That's a good observation. Well, it's not really that hard if you just make the effort. I can do that. Yeah. Yes, I can do that. Could I please buy some of your tomato plants? Like I said, five-year list. But you have so many. What if I just took a few? Now, how would that be fair to those people who've been on there for two, three years? I'll add your name to the bottom. Please. It's all that I have. I don't really know what I'm doing with my life. I always thought I'd be an actor and... You say it like a question. I am an actor, she said definitively. <laughs> it's all I've ever known. It's all I've ever wanted to be. Yeah, it's got to be hard waiting for somebody to pick you. I really just want to make something, anything. And my Uncle Bob died. He left me his house, and my parents wanted to sell it, but I... Bob. Bob Branson? He's your uncle? Yeah. You know, he was always after me for the arugula that I brought out. Brought out where? Well, I brought out arugula to California. You brought arugula out to California? Yeah, arugula. I brought arugula to California. And boy, he was always after it for his plot, but I wanted to keep it for myself. And he kept after me like one season after the other, and he wasn't polite about it either. 
And then one day, this beautiful basket of Gravenstein apples shows up. And then after that, another basket. And they keep coming until finally I broke down, headed over to his place with some arugula seed. And the apples kept coming after that, until a couple years ago when I guess he got so he couldn't drive himself. He's a good man, Bob. Stubborn, though. See where you get it. Thank you, I think. Uh, coupled with good intentions, not the worst you can do. So what are your intentions for my tomatoes? I want to make something grow. Well, you got optimism. I can smell it on you. I think it's my shampoo. <laughs> Let's hope. Remember, this is our little secret, okay? I can't have anybody knowing I bumped you up the list. You got it. Well, we're done, right? Thank you. I heard you the first 10 times. I have no skills. I have no skills. I would die in the apocalypse. There would be fire shooting from the sky and I'd be doing vocal warm-ups and monologues. Help. 